Is this supposed to be this many or did I accidentally summon in? She's the strongest one. Oh my god, we can. Holy. Whoa. Hey, yo, everyone, welcome to the 30th episode of Can Terraria Bosses Survive? We are here. I have gathered a bunch of mods with bosses that I believe will be able to withstand, maybe withstand today's weapon. Probably not. But let's get to today's weapon. It is the Tome of Deletion from the Tome of Deletion mod. It says, most OP weapon in Terraria history. We're gonna see that they delete everything, most OP weapon ever. Now, there actually is two versions of it. The second version is basically like the OP fist, which is another weapon we checked out before. So it shoots like a circle of fists occasionally. There you go. This one just shoots like a little wave of it. Or not fists, but you know, whatever. Deletion, I don't know. We're gonna use the regular one because I don't want to use the other one the other one seems a little bit laggy but yeah if you guys remember i said i was gonna do all the vanilla bosses but in eternity mode as you can see here eternity mode does a lot of stuff to bosses makes them a lot stronger so let's go ahead let's activate this little npc falls in the sky what's up i'm gonna throw you back into the sky but let's get to it we're starting with the king slime of course look at that the king slime is gray oh my god that's insane but yeah let's kill it it should be no problem a bunch of these bosses shouldn't be a problem just eternity mode makes them stronger we'll see that from a couple of them next up skeletron why not skeletron looking really cool let me let me get him away from me but look at him he's looking really cool i like that eternity hey who's attacking i'm liking that eternity mode changes what they look like on top of it actually changes their attacks and stuff their patterns something master mode couldn't do but yeah let's go ahead let's take them out hopefully this episode won't be too laggy i kind of didn't want to use a weapon that's that laggy but like what can i do it's really strong it's bound to lag the game next up the eye look at the eye of cthulhu looks like a legitimate eye of cthulhu like cthulhu moon lord whatever you want to call them let's take it out next up queen b actually looks like a hornet look at that very nice i like that actually has a different name royal subject do any of these other ones have different names no that one seemed to be the only one so far i think i accidentally spawned in the brand of cthulhu when i alt tabbed but look at this this looks way cooler there's a lot of them is this supposed to be this many or did i accidentally summon in i think i accidentally summoned in too many <laughs> whatever it's fine you know they all get to die the same i hope look how many debuffs i'm getting like i can barely even like activate my weapon right now okay i'm not gonna lie the brand of cthulhu is kind of resisting i don't know if that's because i spawned in a bunch did did I spawn in a bunch? I can't tell. Or is this just like how the boss fight is in eternity mode? Okay, it entered the next phase. I kind of want to fight it again just to make sure that I actually spawned in one or just to make sure that I didn't accidentally spawn in more than one. And it looks like I did spawn in more than one. But even then, like, look at this. The, the creepers are not taking damage. <laughs> like they're avoiding damage somehow. So who would have thought our first boss to show resistance? is the brain of cthulhu all right let us check out the eater here we might see some uh things fly past us the eater actually looking like a crimson boss so like they kind of switch sides that's very interesting let's see if we can kill it question mark how come is my this weapon doesn't really shoot that much does it oh 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 is the boss just not dying all right i figured out why we're not doing damage i think when i get debuff this weapon only does one damage so when i get debuff and lose damage i legit do zero damage so if i take this off yeah look zero damage so obviously we're not gonna do anything if we do zero damage so i gotta put armor on and then there you go so that's kind of eh for this weapon supposedly being the most op weapon in terraria history the mod is claiming something but then if you get debuffed by a little bit of weakness or something then it kind of just doesn't work all right wall of flesh let's see it it's blue interesting i don't know why you know the other bosses i could kind of figure out why they were different colors but not this one i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know it shoots a laser very interesting <laughs> all right let's get it out of here all right it is nighttime. i'm gonna summon in the mech bosses one by one and instead of all of them at once just to see what they look like we got a very cool looking skeletron prime here see you later we got the destroyer also cool looking kind of looks like the old devourer of god sprite that's kind of what it looks like next up we have the red naser and the spasmatism oh they just go into their second phase very cool sprites like i can't lie here fargo and whoever else is helping them out they've been up in their sprites in the mod i've been noticing that throughout the years all right we're here jungle let's fight the golem look at that the golem is fucking sands bro <laughs> i don't know who decided this but let's take it out get it out of here and then let's see plantera what is plantera plantera is like a mushroom version i like that 
got a different name uh, or what the hell is this your ivy venom has become an infestation i don't know what that means but i'm gonna kill it i have no idea if like betsy and all those bosses change or not i guess we could check keep in mind we're not doing every single boss this episode we're only doing the ones that change okay this one does change has like a little effect around it okay you know might as well since i'm here and doing one of the old ones army bosses let's just do all of them now also has a little effect around them stinky how dare him make me stinky and then of course let's see betsy what you got betsy betsy's the goddamn ender dragon holy did i miss i missed that attack maybe i'm debuffed to do zero damage i am okay i need i need better armor okay i put on solar armor i still don't think i could do damage all right i think i could actually do damage there we go it just took me a couple things i had to put on here you know i'm just saying for a weapon that claims to be really op when i can't do any damage because i get debuffed doesn't really seem like the weapon's that op duke he's pink and he he looks actually different aside from uh, aside from being just pink get him out of here though he's not different enough to survive that all right what about the martian saucer oh there's a little new effect damn look at that skull flying around me so i'm assuming if that mini boss is different maybe the other ones are too the dutchman look at those <laughs> cannon shots this year that's pretty funny all right we don't have to do every single event boss i'll do the queen and the king okay the ice king and the ice queen or not ice king there's no ice king pump king is what i meant to say because it doesn't seem like they're doing anything too crazy they're, they're flying away honestly all right we are getting close here to the end though let's go take on the boys are they wearing different robes they're not even here today okay that's all good we just spawn in the cultists the cultists are wearing different robes so i'm assuming the boys would wear different robes get the cultist the fuck out of here what about the pillars do the pillars look different at all let's see they might just be like a tougher fight but i don't think they are different so you know what that means we're going straight to the moon lord what does the moon lord look like looks more like a cthulhu i guess it's got that green cthulhu color this looks like hell to fight i don't want to fight it anymore there you go there's a majority of the vanilla bosses we fought them in eternity mode we can turn this off now let's get to the stuff we really want to see here of course we're gonna start with the calamity bosses we're gonna skip out on thorium bosses this time we're going straight to calamity straight to dog let's get to it what's up my dog no i don't know him like that but you know if he wants to be friends we can be friends he's probably a cool guy all right we're waiting for the second phase here how to kill him again with a different weapon let's see it second phase what is up person i've never met before oh, something in a little worm after that all right straight to the jungle dragon let's get to it boom Come on over here. Bam. Get the hell out of here. So it's kind of rude that I invited him over and then I beat his ass. You already know who's next. Come on, Supreme Cow. Let's get to it. Do you think I could just kill her over there and it'll be over? No, sadly not. One day. One day we will kill Supreme Cow like that. All right, Sepulcher. I think if we kill Sepulcher, yep, the fight is pretty much over it. There we go. There's a majority of Calamity bosses. I don't know if there's any other ones that I really need to see from Calamity. I don't think. It's not a like Calamity updates that often, right? But it is time. Let's check out the Mutant, of course. We got multiple versions. I'm going to just summon in the first one. Okay, I was wrong. I'm going to summon in the next one. There we go. That wasn't the Eternity Mode version of... Uh, the mutant maybe i should try the eternity mode one just see if it's any different from the start it probably will just die exactly the same if we're being honest but let's see who would have thought i was right honestly i wonder if we could take on any of the actual like eternity mode bosses like the champion of timber oh my god we can holy this isn't your fucking video hans what a dickhead all right let's try that again champion of timber get him out of here i don't know who else is next champion of will like will smith champion of terra that one lagged the shit out of me oh my god champion of spirit oh i got him before he got away champion of shadow i'm assuming there's certain places you have to fight these things oh but uh like i'm kind of lazy for the, all of that a lot of these like champions though are so cool looking like i gotta give it to fargo and the spriting team behind it they're so cool looking i'm just destroying all of them right now though besides this guy got him i just had to be really quick about it that was like all the champions all right on to the next right here ugandan knuckles i don't have a specific list i'm going off of i'm just kind of just going and hopefully i don't forget anything boom oh wait gotta wait for him to actually there we go it's looking good it's looking good other than the weapon you know losing its damage when you get debuffed sometimes might as well check out some juice mod bosses here go ahead and knock them out and now it's time where i have to bring up like actual wikis because we have a good bit of mods and 
installed here. I think we have Ancients Awaken, Elements Awoken, which already confuses me. The two names are very similar. And then we have Shadows of Abaddon. And those mods right there, I'm on. I want to test out the uh, post Moon Lord bosses on there. We're, we're going to save Act Death for the end, of course. Sealing a Moon Lord. You know, might as well fight the Sealing of Moon Lord. Gunterra, might as well. Uh, Lepus and Turco are exactly the same, but I'll do it anyways, whatever. All right, so Shadows of Abaddon has a good bit of post Moon Lord bosses, starting with Abaddon itself. Hello, Abaddon. Can I reach? Will I reach it? No. Got to be faster. Oh, I got it right there. I got the quickest draw in the West. Come on. We got Eriger, one of my favorite looking worm bosses. Uh, I don't know what to spawn of him. His head. Is that even him? That's him, right? Oh my God. The game's getting so laggy. All right. The game is back. It like completely broke for a second, but it's back. Oh, we actually killed it. All right. The next one after that, the Lost Siblings. Uh, okay. That's not their names. They're, they're not called. Well, as a group, the the Lost Siblings, but they have a completely different name. I think all of them have a separate name. Uh, we got Shira. I'm sure she's going to die from this. Okay. One of them's named Solarius. I'll summon in the one with the highest health. There you go. One is named Dustite. What's up, Dustite? The sprites on these dudes are cool as hell. I'm not going to lie. I have not played the Shadows of Abaddon mod in a minute, so I have no idea how the boss fights are uh, with these guys. I don't remember how specifically you fight them, but I know they are a group. Either you fight them one by one or you fight them as a big group, something like that. And then like this dude pops out at the end, Novaniel. Okay, I think that's everything. Nuba, kill this one too, why not? I thought that Nuba and Shira were exactly the same. They look the same, I think. All right, we have two more bosses for this mod. Erasor and Nihilus. Erasor, what's up? Whoa, what are these things on the top of my screen? Doesn't matter. And last but not least, Nihilus. Or Nihilus? No, I think it's just Nihilus. Maybe Nihilus. I don't know. Looks really cool. Very dead. Am I right? Where's your health bar at? Show your health bar. Come on. I want to kill you. Show, you. show the health bar. Okay, I didn't need to see a health bar, I guess. Holy hell. What are these things? They're lagging my game out, whatever they are. That's it, I think. Unless there's some hidden bosses. There probably is. I don't know. This big ass picture of Ajit Pai. Is that his name? The guy who tried to like get rid of the internet. His name is Bonus 33% More Halls Triple Soothing Action Soothe Sore Throats or Relieves Coughs Cools Nasal Passages. Shout out to him. All right, we have a lot of post Moon Lord bosses from the Elements Awoken mod. We will do that one next and then we will finish it with ancients awaken and of course act death now some of you may be like where the hell is Binos? Okay, I, there's a problem with the uh, Binos mod. Uh, the, the mod that adds Binos is Castles Content, I believe it's called, or Castles Equilibrium. And when I try to install that mod, it just breaks my game. Like, it just gets stuck at the loading for the mod, and then when I try to cancel the loading of the mod, it freezes the game on one screen. And then to get out of it being frozen, I need to close the whole game. But when I close the game, it doesn't disable the mod. So when you relaunch the game, it tries to load the mod again and you go through the same process so i have to go into the files take it out of my mods folder delete it directly through there and then i could get my game working again so i'm assuming what the problem is it either just doesn't work for me and i can't get it to work at all or the uh developer whoever made it castle maybe that's their name they just don't have it so it's usable with tmod loader 64 because i've had the problem before where uh, a mod would not be able to be used with tmod loader 64 which is weird because i think the mod developers have like have the option to directly enable it or not which they should always have it enabled because tmod loader 64 is better why would you not use it unless your computer literally can't run it but i don't know i tried to get it to work i wanted binos to be in this 30th episode i guess not i guess they gotta be in a future episode i tried my best though all right so the ancient Ancient's Awakened mod has a lot of post Moon Lord bosses, which makes it really cool. I'm only going to take on a couple of them, probably the harder ones. And then on top of post Moon Lord bosses, the mod has super ancient bosses. So that's very interesting. That's like another mode above post Moon Lord. I don't know. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to fight, like I said, the ones I'll fight some of them because there's a lot of them. Let's start with this one. It's a worm boss and it looks really cool. Worm King Greed. Boom. On the surface too bright okay I'll, I'll, i won't be on the surface then there you go all right so there's a post Mueller version and then there's a regular version i'm pretty sure this is the regular version i don't know actually 
but it's dead either way actually died too. dropped the treasure bag we haven't seen too many treasure bags in this video all right next up the equinox worms all right daybringer and nightcrawler of course i knew that that was both of their names all right there you go the nightcrawler kind of tiny compared to the daybringer oh the music starting to get real epic we have no time for epic music i still got bosses to kill all right next up we have ash and haruka ash and haruka a lot of like duo bosses here let's start with ash what's up sisters of discord oh they own discord that's nice i might as well spawn in the other one since this one's taking its time attacking me i don't know which one. Oh damn the music is bumping gotta get him out of here before he gets too bumpy next up we have yamada now if i remember yamada correctly this thing's pretty fire the sun imagine being like a big bad boss and you're scared of sunlight couldn't be me am i right all right yamada yo look at that that boy got head heads more heads a lot of heads very cool looking boss very dead boss we keep on getting the yellets <laughs> oh is there a phase two uh, there's a phase two you thought i was done i did think you were done whoa that's some big ass heads long ass necks you're still dead though <laughs> that was cool i did not expect that i'll be 100 honest that was really cool next up we'll fight a boss called zero because that's what this boss is to me zero nothing nada after that we fight akuma and i'm not talking about the fighting game character i'm talking about the draconian demon what's up very scary name still dies the same after that if you've been watching me for a minute you guys know about raja rabbit this dude was my mortal enemy long ago let's fight him raja champion of the innocent where are you going he tried to run away he tried to run away rivals clash to the very end see look even he knows he's my rival all right and let us finish this off with the super ancient shen Doragon, Discordian Doomsayer. What a cool ass name. Such a cool name. He doesn't look that cool, but he has such a cool name. I really like how the backgrounds change when we fight these bosses. There you go. Obviously, I don't think a single boss is going to be able to stand a chance against the weapons I have. You know what? I might as well fight the other bosses that I didn't do. There was only two other ones. I thought there was a lot more bosses than that. Is Anubis and olympian athena those are the other two post moolar bosses and stay away idiot damn you don't have to diss me like that all right what do i have to fight her up here she's the strongest one you call me an idiot fuck you <laughs> apparently there's a stronger version of shen Doragon. there's a purple one an awakened version get it like ancients awakened boom hello purple version bye bye purple version and i'm saying version by the way not virgin i'm not that rude but there we go we did a bunch of the bosses here i think you guys know what time it is and i think you guys probably know the outcome of this it is act death time hello act death how you doing today see you later see you later you hate to see it you love to see it bill cypher everybody no okay bill cypher everybody let's see him in action what's up bill Oh god. The sound of scraping against the ground can be heard nearby. Damn, how much did they spam my chat with that? Grip of chaos? Who the hell is this? <laughs> we have so many bosses that like me just shooting projectiles everywhere is breaking stuff and spawning in other bosses. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the 30th episode. Uh maybe you guys wanted me to f see like fight like the spirit of purity. I don't know. Can I even kill the spirit of purity? Come on, let me attack. If it lets me attack it's a dub i haven't fought this boss in a long time uh i don't know if it is it dead <laughs> whoa, whoa whoa it's moving hey, hey calm down come back down <laughs> yeah there's a reason why i usually don't fight the spirit of purity or any of the blue magic bosses because like they're kind of buggy sometimes and then other times you need to like defeat them normally which takes a long time and i don't feel like doing that all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the 30th episode again i'm sorry that Beanos wasn't in it what can i do i obviously didn't want to play on regular team mod loader because i have like 40 mods installed not gonna work gonna run out of memory but that means that Beanos can be fought in the future, at least. But yeah, keep on leaving OP weapon suggestions. We'll keep on doing this series, of course. But the world might be different next time. You know, this might be my last time in this world. Who knows? Who knows? Shout out to the Toma Deletion. You know, it said that it was the strongest weapon in the history of Terraria. But if you get hit by a debuff, it's not really that strong. Maybe they should just make it do a little bit more damage. Or make it have true damage. I don't know. They should do something. Because that was kind of annoying. But yeah, make sure you guys check out all the mods in this video i'll see y'all next time